<clears throat> Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another quick tip tutorial. Uh, so in the last one I showed you how a little tip on how to do um, <clears throat> on how to, to um, animate a walk cycle easily using a little tip about moving the pelvis control and the uh, back foot control at the same time. Now what I'm going to show you is something called onion skinning which is a holdover from the old days of cell paper animation. So if you um, have, for example, a, a character selected and you uh, select its armature in pose mode and uh, you select the armature tab here, then you'll see down here there is a section called ghost and you can give it a range. All right, so you can tell the frame, the number of steps from the current frame to, to show. So let's go into the middle here and let's give it a range of four frames. And as you can see here, it starts drawing these kind of like outlines of where the objects in your uh, armature have been and will be. And you can see that they are the opacity. Let's look here at the leg here. Actually, you can also uh, check mark this thing that says selected only. And you can see the selected bone. And actually, it would probably be easier to see if you check octahedral or something else, B-bone or something. Our B-bone looks good here. That way you can see it very easily. <clears throat> um, if you <clears throat> check selected here, oops, you can see that not only does it show you uh, where the bone is, where it's been, and where it's going, but it kind of fades it out. So the most, the current, the frames that are around the current frame, so we're in frame seven, and as you can see here, that frame is orange uh, in the uh, uh, information panel here because we have a keyframe set for that. As you can see here, frame six does not have a keyframe, it's set to white, all right? A little, another little trick for you there. Uh, so you can see here that it starts fading these things out the more we go away from the current keyframe. So that's another indication of where things are going and where they have been. So if you uncheck selected, you can see. So obviously, um, as you can see here, let's go back to octahedral, which is probably the easiest way to see this. As you can see here, it can sometimes be kind of a mess. So you probably want to go back and forth between showing everything and showing selected only. So for example, if you want to see this hand here, or for example, the head, you can see here that the head is not really going up and down that much. And neither is the pelvis. The pelvis is kind of going straight forward. But as you can see here, the leg that's moving, you can see it's kind of going in kind of an arc. All right. And you can use this onion skinning in a variety of ways to help you kind of figure out either problems with your animation, plan things out, or also see and check that things are moving and progressing the way you would expect them to. Uh, obviously, you can just kind of scrub back and forth here. But, and what's nice is that it follows, as you can see here, it follows the, the current frame that you're on, and you can change the rain, range, I'm sorry, the step is, means how many, each each time it samples this, it's in this case, it's going to step two frames instead of one. I think it really wouldn't be that useful unless you set it to one each time. Um, and you could just show the keyframes but that's not really useful either, as you can see there. All right, so um, this uh, quick little tip here, I hope this helps you out. It's kind of like hidden away here, uh, ghost setting, you know, it's, it's really easy because it's always kind of by default kind of folded up there, but uh, it can really help you out in a lot of ways, especially if you're having problems with animating your character. So I hope that this quick tip helps you out. Bye.